Good morning. It's about 10.15ish. Stepdad's just left to go at the doctor. And I'm in the workshop. And that's the light I broke yesterday. <clears throat> so, the plan, and as you can see, we've got most of the floor down up to there. That cupboard's coming out. <clears throat> uh, because floor wise, all we've got to do is this gap there, a little bit there, that bit there, then the floor's done. Uh, stepdad's got some marine ply to pick up later today, which he's going to use for the countertops because the counter is going to run from this end all the way down to that end. It's all going to be cupboards. Oops, tripping over the air compressor. <clears throat> it's all going to be cupboards and whatnot. So, my first job to fix that that I broke yesterday. Hopefully. Just trying to see if the light is actually in shot. <clears throat> one, one. That's the one I want off. Always turns the power off. Try not to break that one. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's my next target. No idea how long. How long stepdad's gonna be? Oh, I've got a wonky camera. I may just move that and that polystyrene. It's a pet peeve of mine, I have tied up cables. There we go. Just move my coat. Move you guys. Because uh, this is coming down. Grinder off and grind us down. No idea where I'm going to put everything. <laughs> we have no cabinets or cupboards or anything like that yet. Right. That's the pump for stepdad's bike. It's just a spare pump of mine. full of BBs for some reason. Not a good idea to shut cigarette plugs in the door.
Niles. <coughs> charge <clears throat> for the cordless all faithful before I forget <clears throat> and I actually found that's got a thermal cutout on it <laughs> right but we have a mains drill set up as a screwdriver, so for now I'll use that. Oh. <laughs> Let's reverse. Is that reverse? Let's reverse. screws, put these in. down out the way as well. I didn't think I was going to have to but I am. <sighs> the wobbly shelf. It's just there. Uh, I'll just whip that down. It's in the way. It's got to come down anyway. screws in it. It's got a bit of a dodgy lead on it. You look at that, took all six screws out and it's still up on the wall. That's magic. <coughs> 
Now the fun starts. Who's that? running out of room. Rubbish. Hello, spider. I knew I'd find one in here eventually. Need the drill. But we've got to have a bit of fun, haven't we?
<laughs> nice try, asshole. Not very well from the look of it. Ah! Bastard. Oh, nailed to the leg. Who could say I've been nailed? Right. Is that job done? Oh, it's certainly brighter in here with all four lights working. the next job. Clear this crap out of here I suppose. Uh, move that bugger. Can we actually uh, put a load of bits in the bucket. Oh that I'm going on the trailer. Short sure, man. Speaking of trailer. Take me Woo. I apologise, it's just stupid bloody tripod. That's my bike horde. Keeping all of them. Keeping this one, scrapping that one, keeping the red one. Do up one of the pink ones. Racer parts. There's a little shopper in there I'll keep as well. Yay. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off for now. Is uh, well. It's a bit boring chucking that lot out there, isn't it? I'm gonna, uh, oh, and this whole wall's gonna be reboarded and we're gonna board over the window. We're just gonna get these same boards that we're using on the floor and put on the wall, straight onto the wall. Obviously, screwing where the battens are. There's one there. And there's gonna be one run down here because that's where the window is. Same there, and probably be another one somewhere there. Or not. <laughs> yeah, I've got to repair the roof, I've got some ply for that. And that roof is all going to be stripped right back to that wall. This cable's going to be hidden up there. That's just going to be rerouted, because we've got all this flopping around. So that's going to be rerouted and that power outlet will be put down there somewhere. Yeah, that's water damage because some pillock, whoever built this and put the roof up, I don't know if you can see it, but they've put nails straight through the roof. So it's been leaking there and leaking all into this roof area. And rotted it. <laughs> uh, well it seems like spray foam, expanding foam has fixed it up there so well, it's been pissing it down and the floor's dry so that's good so yeah we'll get some ply up there like I said this one's being rerouted the bench is going all the way along that wall when he's got some more of this stuff that's what's going to make the cupboards with the marine ply is going to be used for the tops I think the other thing he wanted to do today was uh, because this front panel there goes up at an angle he's going to um, square it off and make like a shelf ledge on that end 
somewhere we can put our battery chargers. Still charging. Yeah, if this battery is too hot, it won't charge. It cuts off. <laughs> Which is a good safety thing. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off here. And if I don't turn the camera back on later while I'm here, I'll talk to you when I'm back home. <laughs> She's camera shy. I thought as no one's here at the moment. The marine tank. Somewhere around the back. There he is. I don't know if you can see him. Shrimp. <laughs> An enemy. Clownfish. There's two of those in there, two of whatever they are, and uh, the dory is hiding. We call it dory because I can't remember the uh, <laughs> actual name. We play peekaboo. See? Peekaboo! Lots of snails. There's some hermit crabs in here as well somewhere. There's one right there. <laughs> I, think there's, uh, I don't actually know how many crabs are in here. I know the snails seem to be breeding like there's no tomorrow. And Cassie's hidden upstairs because she's camera shy. Cassie! Cassie! <laughs> what you got, Moo Moo? What you got, Moo Moo? Oh, she's actually come to me. I don't think she'll let me get any closer than this. <laughs> no. I don't know why Mum and Stepdad have got to, they're taking ages. Here she is. Here she is. One of the cuddly... She don't even shred the cuddly toys. Right. I just thought while well, I'm bored and had five minutes, I might as well show you this. Big old sump tank in the bottom. LED lighting. Yeah, stepdad built all of this cabinet by himself. And the lid. Good job. That's why I bought him. I don't know where they are. There you go. Gave them doorknobs. Could screw that. You're extremely low, where are you? No, he's gone over the other way. We get a lot of helicopters and whatnot around here because we're right near the airport. I want to say right near the airport, we're only about a mile or so from it, by road. Probably less than that as the crow flies. I don't know, I'm just singing random stuff now. Anyway, talk to you all when I get home. I'm home. It's uh, almost 10.30 and we had a huge torrential rain downpour earlier. Um, for a good couple of hours it just pissed it down. 
and thunder and lightning and uh, it's caused complete havoc. Havoc? Havoc, rather. Um, I haven't heard our fire engine return. That's probably still out somewhere pumping water from somewhere. Or swimming in the road somewhere. We don't need fucking cars around here, we need boats. You know? We'll be the next place on the planet that will have gondolas going down the road, not bloody cars. <clears throat> anyway, joking aside, that has actually caused quite a lot of uh, flash floods and whatnot. Most will just subside on their own, you've just got to take care going through them. Except for two numpties at one of the bridges in town. That are now sitting on the side of the road, broken down. And I saw one being pushed up the road. Yes, not towed, pushed. <coughs> Bloody hell. I'm joking on my own spit. Yeah, being pushed up the road because <laughs> they'd broken down. There's a, um, a garage just up the road from that particular bridge. And years ago, that railway bridge used to actually have... Um, a regular thing where that flooded, <laughs> even in just that's an ambulance. I just trying to detect the tone in the siren, sort of tell which it was. Wouldn't have been surprised if that was a fire engine tonight. Uh, yeah, but the railway bridge was closed. But apparently there's flooding at both railway bridges. Basically, it just comes down so hard that the drains can't handle it and they just overflow. Did you just... Uh... It was a little bit echoey, so... And sounded close. Let's see if we get some blue lights. Might do. Are we going to be lucky or are we going to be unlucky? I might be unlucky, I might have gone a different way. Yeah, that would have come past by now. And the pedestrian crossing beacon is having some kind of uh, seizure from the looks of it. If you actually watch it through that gap, you'll see what I'm going to do. zoom in on it. Let's watch that fucking thing. That's how it's meant to flash. Now it's doing that. And it goes back to a normal flash. <laughs> He's been doing that for a while. Uh, there's definitely something not right with that. It's not supposed to do that. Yeah, so we had an eventful evening. But, uh, only in Britain would it be pissing down outside, but you'd be actually be sweating indoors. Look at this look. The water's running off my forehead. Alright, well. Not going over to Mum's tomorrow because we've got no more materials to carry on. And instead of making the ledge down the far end, like I said we were going to, because I thought we were at the time, Stepdad decided to board the wall where my bench used to be up the other end, where we um, had the floor to finish. And we still haven't screwed that floorboard down. Oops. <laughs> Um, and I can't do any electrical work in there at the moment, not much anyway, I've taken a socket down that we don't need, uh, but I do need to um, attack the fuse box because uh, the old cooker point I'm going to take out because we don't need that bloody thing in there or that cable laying around in there and there's this random cable coming out the fuse box, I have no idea if it's still live I have to take the ends up just in case, but uh, when I take the cooker point out, I'm going to take the cable off. Uh, 
and then I'm gonna wrap them probably take the dangling white cable off as well for the time being until it's time to put sockets up on that wall because he will need a couple on that one but uh, it's just going to be safer if I drop the cables off but uh, of course I've got to turn the main switch off and then I've got to be careful because the main bar along the bottom will be live so I've got to be careful that I don't touch it <laughs> I could just go into the landlord and ask him just to switch the power off because oddly on oddly and um, rather scarily that whole workshop it's not connected to a proper consumer unit like I've got up in that hallway no it's just a plug like that plugged into an outlet I kid you not that's what's running the whole workshop in fact it's running I think it runs Beagles's as well. I think. I can't remember. But yeah. <laughs> That's the landlord for you. Fuck it, that'll do. <laughs> it works. Not necessarily safe, but it works. So yeah, I'm going to get that sorted out. Because Numpty Nuts here forgot to take his toolbox anyway, so I couldn't even uh, get any bikes stripped down for parts. Because it's right there where I left it last night. Oops. <laughs> oh well. There's always Sunday. And Mum's Village is having a garage sale across the village. Um, what they basically do is on a certain day, if you want to participate, you um, there's a charge so much per house that participates. Well, it's not necessarily in the garage, it could be in the front garden, back garden, wherever. And I'll have signs outside, so you can just drive around the village. You can, I believe, get maps to show you where all the houses are that are taking part in it. Um, most of the time the funds that are made or, you know, from the fees of uh, joining in the event, we'll say, um, that goes to charity. I don't know if it does in every town and village that holds them. They are thinking of doing one in my town, some, perhaps next year. That would be nice and interesting. Because we're quite a large town, so... If we did it one Sunday, we might actually get quite a uh, quite a lot of people participating, and that would be a lot of fees that could go to charity. I think if I participated in it, I'd set a stall up on the grass out front. That yeah, that would probably be my easiest option. Um, although some people have actually said if it did go ahead in town they've got a big enough garden so those who haven't got a garden would be welcome to set up in theirs but I would still pay a fee if I did that I think it's only something like five six pounds per house that joins in it's not a great deal but it's like having a car boot sale on a massive scale <laughs> I haven't even been to one of those yet this year. It's either I do that, or it's North Walsham Fun Day on Sunday. Which means I could go to that, because it's just over on the park. And I do have their classic cars there, but I don't, mind, I don't know, I might just give that a miss this year. It depends what the weather's doing. Well, I suppose if Mum picks me up nice and bright and early Sunday... It wouldn't matter too much, would it? Because uh, if stepdad wanted to come along as well, he could come into town with mum, pick me up, and go around the village on our way back because it starts at 10 in the morning. I'd be up for it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Chairs like this in the heat don't mix. 
Well, I'm not too hot. But I never actually thought I'd find myself saying, I want to sweat, I want to feel the sun, I want to see the sun. Because so far here in... Spray that again. <laughs> Don't know if you saw that, but... You know, I could spray that again if I want to. If I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Anyway. All that's been so far here in Britain is rain, rain, a day of sunshine, maybe two if we were lucky, rain, dull and cloudy, rain, rain, dull and miserable and cloudy, another sunny day, we have hardly had any sun. This is just like a warm version of winter. And it's depressing. I know I've said before I hate the heat and I'd rather be in the North Pole during summer. But uh, I actually have to say I do miss it. <laughs> it is nice to go out to these events on a nice bright sunny day and <laughs> not on a nice bright rainy day which is what we get at the moment. <sighs> it, it, it's depressing. And I think it's even worse knowing that autumn will be coming and winter will be coming and we'll just have the same fucking weather again with less sunshine and shorter days. Jeez, that is enough to make anyone depressed. I don't think I'm going to complain about the heat again when it's nice and warm over here. I've got my stupid little fan going on the desk, but to be honest, unless you've got this thing here, you can't really feel anything from it. It's quite a... Well, that's better there, closer to the edge, but... Yeah, it's not the best, but it was only cheap, and it does plug into my USB supply. I think it was £4.99p from QDs. <sighs> well, tomorrow... As I didn't do it today because I went over to Mum's to help Stepdad in the workshop, as you saw. Um, what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to get up. Don't know what time, whenever I decide to drag a fucking bus alarm. Same alarm every time on them buses. <laughs> Same bus, it's just sensitive for some reason. We've got cats around here, so I wouldn't be surprised if a cat has jumped on it and set it off. Well, that'll do that, stop. Then make that sound stop, and I'll do that a few times, and that'll just stop. There we go, it's just gone off. Is it going to start again? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No, in. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to go around the charity shops because I'm in need of some jeans more than shirts. But look at that. And stay in that pocket. These are still good for, you know, mucky work like I've been doing. But I am getting short on pants, so. Or trousers. I'll call them trousers. I'll be British. Trousers. They're not pants. They're trousers. Well, if you're in Scotland, it'd be a kill. <laughs> I've got holes in the pockets as well, which don't really bother me. But yeah, I've been looking for weeks. Every time I've gone in the charity shops with Mum or on my own, I've looked for jeans, but I can never find any in my size. In fact, a lot of them haven't had many jeans in. In fact, a lot of charity shops don't have much in the way of men's clothes anyway. So you, shitloads of ladies clothes and whatnot and there's usually a decent rack for kids clothes but men's nah <laughs> it's like lady shoes you ladies can get shoes coming out of your ass in charity shops uh, what's the best one in town I would say the best one for ladies to get shoes from would either be Salvation Army or Bernardo's. They seem to have the largest stockpile of ladies' shoes. Jesus, man. 
and they don't go for a bad price. Usually a pair of jeans are going to cost me about four ninety nine, but that hole here is actually getting bigger. It's getting a lot bigger. Oh, I better not pull on it like that. No claws. Thank you. He misses me. Oh, 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 oh. oh, does that feel good? You like that? <laughs> Look how he's got his head buried under the armpit. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's one thing I'm going to do tomorrow. And I haven't taken a visit to my favourite junk shop for about two weeks now. Didn't go in last week, I don't think. I'll have a look in there tomorrow as well. And I'm going to go and buy some handlebar grips for my black clawed butler hybrid bike because that sticky handlebar grip on the right side is pissing me off. If you're wondering why I'm moving the camera, it's because the cat keeps trying to sniff it and nudge it. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible that handlebar grip. I'm not going to try and take them off without damaging them, I'm just going to cut them off because I'm not going to reuse them. But I am going to see if I can locate a better handlebar. Um, seeing as I'm going to take the handlebar grips off. So it was horrible and I've covered it in um, PVC tape just to temporarily cover up all the horrible bits. Um, Nothing on the bikes I've got at Mum's. Oh, wait, yeah, there might be. I've got that ladies hybrid bike there, a silver coloured one. You might see that in the video. Should do, it's right at the front of the pile. Um, could use that handlebar. I'm going to strip that for parts anyway. The frame is just too. There's a lot of rust coming through the paintwork because it is you. Well, I was going to say you're cheapy, it's a Falcon, they're not that bad. Anyway, at some point tomorrow as well, I'm going to um, bring that Rally 3-speed bike up here and uh, try and get that working. Biggles gave it to me as it was. Hasn't got a 3-speed lever, he'd taken that off, but brake levers are there, brake calipers are there, mud guards are there, chain is there, seat is there. So I just throw in a couple of wheels. And uh, mine's gone black there. Throw in the wheels, put on the gear shifter, connect the gear cable up, and perhaps do any tweaking this. Reconnect the rear brake cable because it's disconnected. Maybe replace it if I have to. If I haven't checked the end, I don't know if it's frayed. Rear light works. It's got a rear. It's got dynamo lights on it. Rear one works. Front one doesn't. Um. Change the mudguard light because it's actually got two rear lights and one front one. Um, for a reflector, <clears throat> like I said, it's an old bike, so the frame's not in top notch condition, but it's not in completely past it condition either. In fact, it's probably slightly better than my French one, but I just want another one. So it's not going to be sold, I'm going to use it. Uh, then I might bring the shopper bike frame I've got back. Because I'm going to strip the white one I've got down. I've got a white one at Mum's and I'm going to strip that down for the parts that I'll hopefully put on the purple one because it's a purple in colour. Because it's a better looking bike, and naturally Biggles has half inched most of the parts. I do have some um, shopper wheels, I hope will fit it, because he was going to throw them away as well. So I nabbed them, because they are hard wheels to get hold of. Uh, if they fit the frame. But it may not have the quick release lever in the middle for the frame now, but I'll just put a bolt in there. Because I never fold them up anyway. Uh, 
Um, that's got lights on it as well. I think all I'd have to do is just put the front light back on. Put the, the handlebars should drop straight in because they're quick release handlebars so it can fold up. So, in theory, I'm hoping the ones from the white one I've got will release and go into the ones on this purple bike. Brake calipers, I've got several dotted around if I need them. I don't know if I think he took those off. I think. Anyway, Barry's getting low on this now, so I'm going to disappear. Get myself a drink. Might leave the pill and only do one a day because I am getting low. I can't order any till tomorrow. Yodi, yodi, yodi. So, yeah. I'm too knackered to even do anything tonight, so I'm probably just going to chill at the PC for a little while and go to bed. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. And uh, thank you for subscribing, because I know I've got a few more subscribers. And uh, I'll talk to you all again at some point tomorrow. I'm not sure when. I may wait till tomorrow night. But uh, the it, I will be doing a video tomorrow. Hopefully with something sort of semi-interesting, I hope. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.